how to create your own cryptocurrency. Most of us have already heard about Bitcoin, Ripple, and Ethereum, etc. However, did you know that there are more than a thousand cryptocurrencies available out there? In fact, 1,384 cryptocurrencies are listed on Wikipedia. So, why not create your own cryptocurrency? Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, and in today's video, I'm going to tell you how you can create your own cryptocurrency. However, before we start, make sure you subscribe to this channel and don't forget to hit that bell icon so you never miss any updates. Things you should know before creating a cryptocurrency. Before we start discussing how to create a cryptocurrency, you need to know three important things. First of all, you should have a great idea. If you are building a coin or a token for the sake of building a token or a coin, you are probably going to fail. Keep in mind that your cryptocurrency should add value to the world. Secondly, you will have to build a community. In simple words, you need to earn the trust of people. Lastly, you should have coding and crypto security knowledge. Yes, you can always hire people, but it is important to understand how your cryptocurrency is going to work. A coin versus a token. Now you need to understand the difference between tokens and coins. Although both of them are cryptocurrencies, coins operate on their own blockchain, while tokens live on top of existing blockchain infrastructure. In simple words, a token is a record of transactions made on as well as secured by a network. Coins such as Bitcoin or Litecoin have their own independent transaction ledgers. In comparison, tokens rely on the underlying network's technology to verify transactions as well as ownership. Generally, coins are used to transfer wealth. On the other hand, tokens represent a contract for almost anything. Let me tell you that tokens are usually released via a crowd sale called ICO, an initial coin offering. It is worth mentioning that anyone can create a token and run a crowd sale. However, initial coin offerings have become increasingly murky since creators run away with investors' money. The basic idea behind any cryptocurrency is that the underlying code is accessible to all people. However, it does not mean that it is easy to understand. Build your blockchain or fork on an existing blockchain. There are two methods to create your own cryptocurrency. You can either build your own blockchain or fork on an existing one. Regardless, both of them require technical knowledge or you can take the help of a savvy developer. If you are building a blockchain, you can also take an existing blockchain and modify it for your new coin. On the other hand, you can fork an existing blockchain by taking the open source cord. Let me tell you that open source cords are available on GitHub. Here are the steps you need to follow. Step one. First, you need to know your use case. For example, does your business lay in data authentication and verification or in the smart area contracts? This is the stage where you need to define your objectives clearly. Step two, after defining your objectives clearly, you need to choose a consensus mechanism. The participating nodes should agree on which transaction should be considered legitimate. It will help your blockchain operate smoothly. Step three, the next step is to pick a blockchain platform. This decision depends on the consensus mechanism you have selected. The most popular blockchain platform is Ethereum. However, there are other platforms available such as Waves, NEM, NXT, Blockstarter, EOS, BitShares 2.0, CoinList, Hyperledger, Fabric, IBM, Blockchain, Multichain, Hydrachain, OpenChain, Chaincore, and IOTA, etc. Step 4. After choosing a blockchain platform, it is time to design the nodes. Suppose a blockchain is a wall. 
Nodes are the bricks of this wall. Let me tell you that a node is an interconnected device that supports a blockchain. It performs various tasks such as storing the data, verifying transactions, as well as processing transactions. In simple words, your blockchain will depend on nodes for support, security, and efficiency. Now, you will have to make a number of choices about the nodes, whether the nodes are going to be public, private, or hybrid. Moreover, whether the nodes will be hosted on the cloud or on premises. They can also be hosted on both of them. You also need to select and buy necessary hardware like processors. Lastly, choose a base operating system such as Fedora, CentOS, Debian, Red Hat, Windows, or Ubuntu. Step five. The next step is to establish the internal architecture of your blockchain. You should be careful during this step since some of the parameters can never be changed once your blockchain platform is running. So I would recommend that you spend some time establishing the internal architecture. You need to define who can access the data, make transactions, and create new blocks. At the same time, it is essential to decide the address formats. Decide what your blockchain address is going to look like. Next, decide the format of the keys that will generate signatures. Furthermore, you have to establish the necessary rules for creating all asset units. Step 6. After establishing the internal architecture, it's time to pick an API provider. You need to ensure that the blockchain platform of your choice offers the pre-built APIs. Why? Because many of them do not provide the pre-built APIs. However, if the platform is not providing the pre-built APIs, you can take the help of a reliable blockchain API provider. Some of the most authentic and reliable API providers include ChromaWay, Bitcore, Tyrion, Gem, Neuroware, Colored Coin APIs, Factum, Alpha API, Kolu, and Block Cipher. Step 7. This is a second to last step in which you are going to design the interface. Let me tell you that communication is the key. A great interface ensures smooth communication between your blockchain and the participants. External databases, the front end, and programming languages such as CSS, PHP, Python, and Ruby, and FTP, mail, and web servers are some of the most important things to consider at this stage. Step 8. Finally, you need to make your cryptocurrency legal. Since the law is catching up with cryptocurrencies, you need to make sure that you better protect yourself from any surprises. I would highly recommend that you keep looking into the trends around crypto regulations. Always follow the directions given by the authorities and take care of the legal side of the business. That's all for today's video, and thanks for watching it. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Also, don't forget to share your thoughts and valuable feedback with us in the comments section below. Lastly, if you have not already subscribed to our channel, subscribe to it. Press that bell button so you're notified each time I upload an interesting video on this channel. And while you're here, click to watch one of these two videos appearing on your screen right now. We'll see you there. Take care and stay tuned.